Maria, you are still here. Yes, I'm trying to finish up some documents before I go home. Maria, you don't need to be shy. Always be free with me. You know, I understand you are here just because you know I am around. Maria. Maria, not so fast. You actually waited for me for a reason. And that reason is because you like me. Sir, I think I need to go now. Where do you think you are going to? It's either you make it cool or I make it rough. Sir, I'm so sorry. I need to leave now. Listen, I know you like it. And I'll... Good evening, Mr. Frank. Good evening, Miss Maria. So I was just closing up all the offices because I want to make sure the staff have left. Don't worry, sir. As you can see, I'm the only one left in the office. And I think I'm leaving now. Good night, sir. Come in. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Maria. Sir, this is the project you asked for. Maria, wait there. So I hope there's no problem. No problem, Maria. Wait there while I go through your projects. Okay, sir. Maria, you know, this is not what I asked you to do. Sir, I mean no offense, but this is exactly what you asked me to do. And besides, I took my time in preparing this. I said this project isn't correct. But sir, you didn't even look at it. What are you saying? You know, Maria, come. Come now! Now, look at this. You will see, it does not collaborate. The fourth and the seventh line are different. Go through it yourself. No, just check it out, check it out. Be free, be free. Why are you? So what are you doing? What on earth is wrong with you, Maria? Tell me, are you a child? Listen. If you want your project to be approved, just accept my terms. So why are you doing this to me? I took so much time in preparing this. Maria, it took me years longer to have you. Accept me and I would make things easy for you. That simple. Ma Maria. I know one day I'll get you. <laughs> Wow, so let's see what's behind here. Oh my god. Maria, this is impressive. <laughs> I promise you, this won't be approved until you answer my terms. Good morning, Mr. Edward. Good morning, Miss Charlotte. Good morning, Mr. Frank. Good morning, Frank. We called you here because an allegation of office harassment has been leveled against you. We've heard the person's side of the story and we want to hear yours because it's their word against yours. So what do you have to say? Firstly, can I please know who laid this allegation against me? Miss Maria here did. And we have heard her side of the story. We would like to hear yours. Okay, well. Ever since I laid foot into this company, I have been all about my work. And sir, you know my department brings in the best reports and the best profits. Why should I harass any lady 
when I can channel that time and energy on the company's work and be more productive. Hmm. Okay, Mr. Frank. Miss Maria, you've heard him. What can you say about that? Sir, he's lying. I have a witness. Really? Yes. She can testify. Please bring her in. Okay, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, ma. Sir, Miss Anna here can testify. Miss Anna, I believe you know the reason why you are here. I would like you to be very, very free and very, very honest with us. Have Mr. Frank here ever tried to harass you in this office? No, no, sir. Look, um, Miss Anna, I want you to think very, very well and answer me again. Has he by any means tried to harass you, you know, within the office premises? No, sir. Okay, um, thank you, Miss Anna. Um, may I please leave us? Thank you, sir. I would like to sincerely apologize for the allegation, you know, leveled against you. And um, please, we come back to your office. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. Sir, Ma, he's lying. I don't know why she said no. There's something behind it, sir. You need to believe me. I'm not lying. Um, um, Miss Maria, you see, you made your point and we allowed you to call in your witness. From what I just saw, I don't know. Um, I'm sorry, our hands are tied. Sorry. Where do you think you are going to? Sit down here. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm not here to tell you that. So the nice one you put in, in there. Your words against mine. You know, you are easily predictable. I saw the shock on your face when the ladies testified in my favor. <laughs> <laughs> That was wonderful. I already said to them, truth to be told, I actually threatened their lives. What? You did that? And I will do the same to you if you don't accept now. I know you that. So this is what you do, right? This is what you do? No, sir, I can't explain. Just shut up! Shut up! Earlier today we noticed something wasn't right with Miss Maria. So we asked her to just play bait so we can see everything for ourselves. I am highly disappointed in you. You should be ashamed of yourself. And let me assure you, you not only lose your job, I will ensure you rot in jail. Sir, please, I'll save it! Miss Maria, I would, sorry, we would like to apologize for everything you've been through. We would want to promise you that you would never experience such in this office again. Thank you so much, sir. As for you, you won't go scot free. Nonsense. I'll, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Miss Mary, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. What have I done? 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 